What's up everyone? Uh welcome back. So uh to another video. Um Um so uh today I'm going to be um playing with some of my friends. Yeah, um basically um what he said subscribe to um Yeah. Yeah, you um yeah, yeah, you hold on. But um today I'm basically just going to be um showing some basic stuff like what items um, you can like get to progress in the game faster, what to basically do, and yeah, stuff like that. Cause uh, this man is new. He like started uh, apparently he started yesterday, and then this man I've been helping this man, Mr. Knight, for like almost a month now, and um, I've met him recently, and um, I've just been helping him out with like a bunch of stuff. But um yeah, so we're just gonna be doing this. So um. First thing, okay, <laughs> stop being weird, guys. First thing that um, is pretty useful in the game is the haunted scythe. Um, it's it's a weapon that you basically can carry you to like very far in the game. There's also a V2 of it. Let's see if I have that. I do not have that on this account. That's very really sad. I'm gonna go have to get that. But yeah, it's basically it starts off like this. Yeah, he has it. So show them again. That that's the v version two, and it glows, and then it does like two times the damage. And like two times the hits, basically. Yeah, that's the heavy, it transforms the heavy. Um, there's no longer life steal on the heavy, but um, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a very good item. Um, so, um, we're at the island you have to go. It's basically um, at the forest, and you just drive out until you find the Scarecrow Island or whatever. You come back to this pillow right here, um, and then you talk to Mr. Pumpkin, say, What have you got? and he'll you can find the Scarecrow hat, on the side of the Scarecrow, and the Wickle wreath here, and then you can buy haunted scythe from him. I have two haunted scythes on this now for some reason, and yeah, so um, yeah, so oops, I typed that in again on that. Oop, I need to okay, so um, yeah, um, so. We're gonna go ahead and head over to the next spot we need to go. Um, so you um also scarecrows spawn at night time, and um, yeah. So we'll, I'm gonna show you what one of those looks like in a minute here. Once um it becomes night time in a second, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna cut this out. And so here we go. Yay! This is probably gonna be like 10 minutes for me, but like two seconds for y'all. Anyway. Yo, okay guys, so, this is what a scarecrow looks like, and this is the best strategy, just get up here, shoot them with a bow, like this, and then just swing your weapons at, like, at them, like this, because you can still hit them and they can't hit you, it's the best strategy. So, just, like, you can have someone down there, like, he is, but I can't, like, um, because it's, like, kind of dangerous, but, yeah. See, and then you just come back up, if you fall down, and one, if one gets up, just pull out, like, a knockback weapon, like he has, and just knock him off. It's easy. Just use like the crossbow or something, cause it um charges up fast, so you can like. So, yeah, that's good. Yo, yo, let him get some damage. Out. All right. Should I pop a potion? Nah, I'm not gonna do What's this? Oh, some guy summoned a minion. That's cool. <laughs> Let me get my damage in. Alright. Nice, man. You're leveling up like crazy. Now you need 75 straw and like 25 chaos essence. So. Yeah. Bop. Yeah, 25 chaos essence. It's a drop. Uh, can you jump? Yeah, he can jump. Uh. Oh, you got the bow? Nice. That's weird. That's weird. 
Yeah, it gives a lot of gold. It's like a, it's it's heck of a lot of gold. Especially if you use um challenge metal, it's like it's actually a very good way of grinding money because you can sell the um the drops. Like you can sell like the straw too. And um, if you get like any of like the weapons, if you already have them, you can just sell them. Or you can like use them for different builds and make random builds with them. <coughs> like make a crit build with this scale bow or something. Oh yeah. Sorry, I missed it. I missed it. Get that? Oh. Get out of here, man. Oh, oh he's up here. He, he, he's up here and he's staying up here. He just shot. He's a kind of that. Oh, is that a giant one? No, that's not a giant one. That thing's like one in a million to find. Ooh, two. No, just for fun. Let's drop another one. Oh, I'm dropping down. Well, I'm using a tank boat, so it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter for you, because you're not, um, that strong, yeah. Alright, so we got two on, so we're gonna bring this guy to this side, and then this guy to this side. Just wait, just wait. And now they won't get up. Oh, never mind, you knocked them back. So they're all gonna get back. That, um, that, that's concerning. No! Oh no, it's still night time, never mind. It the the gravity just changed. The um the atmosphere just changed, that's all. It wasn't anything. Else. The the um it's it's no longer day, so I mean it, it's no longer um it, it's not gonna be come day it's gonna be Oh apparently my uh, mic was off. Um, how long was that off? Oh, oops. Yeah, tell me after we kill this guy. How long was that off? I'll shoot this guy in a second. Oh, so it wasn't... Okay. That's fine, I'll go check in the footage later. Anyway, I'm gonna pause the video now because this is just us grinding now. Let's pause this. What's up everybody? Oh, welcome back. Uh, so, uh, I unpaused the video now. Oh, nice, you got the Tonto? W. Uh-oh. Oh no. Um, f flip guys, I have to restart Roblox, my uh, game crashed, um, uh, technical difficulties, uh, oopsie. Hello everyone, um, so, uh, my Roblox crashed, and my friends ended up leaving the server, so I'm gonna have to do the video alone, but, um, yeah, so, here we go, um, uh, I am. And, um, so, yeah. Um, for this one, you, um, basically, you're gonna get this weapon right here. 32 base damage, it's pretty good, to be honest. Um, very good, actually. It's not pretty good, it's very good. And, um, yeah. And, um, so, yeah, that's the, um, thing that you're gonna get from doing this. Because you wanna go to desert, you need gemstone pickaxe to get you. And you just wanna follow the path I'm going. Come through that, break that thing. Keep following the path I'm going, and you'll make it there. It's a bit confusing your first time trying to find it, but once you do, once you learn how to find it, it's easy. Ah, 
um, yeah, I'm just using my, um, frost bow build that, um, I, um, showed case in a, a, a previous video. So you just wanna come kill this guy. The fastest way is get out, like, It's to like just get out any fat like bow. Sorry, my game like froze and like my whole thing froze. But the fastest way is just just get out any bow and um, just like just any bow or like anything like that. And you just want to come up here. I kind of messed that up, but I think I can redeem myself. No, 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 get down, boy, get down, get down, yeah, get down. I'm gonna shoot, shoot him, just continuously shoot him. I'd recommend using this bow build because it's actually um, quite good for this spot right here. So I need you just keep you can auto click it and any or anything like that. And just auto click. The hmm. spam map. If you have this thing, go ahead and use that. You killed him, you can get this. Here's the beast area on him. There you go. 50% chance you get chaos essence from him, like four to five, six, seven, I don't know. Um I've could from 49 times he has pretty decent stats. Give us decent very good XP actually, not decent, very. He's a weak to, I believe, water, I think. So, if you you can use Rainmaker against him, I think would be good for it. Either that or, um... Either that or Ice. I don't know. I don't know, actually. Yeah, I'm just eating some food real quick, because I'm hungry. But yep, yeah, you get the Nagatabito. Alright, so. You just, um, why am I showing this boat? Y'all have already seen this. Now that you have it, if you do, here's a pretty decent build with it. Fall Bam. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good. And yeah, so. Take this, oh my gosh, this boat is so scuffed. I'm so sorry guys, this boat is so scuffed. Yeah, I'm so sorry guys, this, this boat is terrible. How could I show this to you guys? Okay, now this one is the boat that I was going for. Yeah, this is um the boat, you just want this. Very high damage, I'd say. No, just a quick, you know, 200 damage, nothing, nothing too crazy. But uh, yeah, this is the build right here. If you want more defense, just um, you know, do um. If you can't parry, then just do this. Not even close to as much damage, but, well, that was not intended. There we go. Bam, still does good damage, it's not as much actual damage damage, but yeah, you know what I mean. Still good damage, but it has good defense too. Bam, that's the build for this weapon. And then, uh, Hunted Scythe build, if you want one of those. 
this one would be good. And then we'll place this with cloak robes and that's this OP build. Anyway, um, so, um, next, um, thing you want to do in your new, head to Volcano. And, um, actually, that's not something you do when you're new. Hold on. Um, so you just want to, um, basically, this next item that I'm going to show you how to get is actually, um, very good. And it's, um, it can be used, like, across, like, um, throughout the game, like, for, like, a while. And if you cool. like, um, the, um, item, like, then, yeah, you can, um, use it for a while. It's, it's called the Pro Dagger. And just to, like, show you... What this build can do. And what this item can do, can get up to. I don't actually think this is the build. I don't quite know actually. Heck, I'm stuck. I can't swing. There we go. Yeah, but it's doing like around 100 DPS. Pretty good. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. So you pull it like for diagonal now. Bam! Look at this. Look at this crazy damage, man. Speed is insane. But um, in reality, just just pull out the one two buck on my shoe and just this is just to keep up the uh, pace of doing it and the uh, scrub sickle. And yeah, it's self-explanatory. I mean, come on, man. It's just crazy. This is also another good item. You get this from the, um, so, yeah, Pro Dagger is, um, pretty good. Yeah. Also, just yeah. keep in mind, this is not a Pro Dagger build. I don't have the Pro Dagger build anymore. Unfortunately, I don't have it anymore, like I said already. Which is incredibly sad, but I just don't have it anymore. Yep. So... Yeah. Um. This is, um, like the Buster Sword. You get this from killing Skeleton. Um, I'll show you how to get to him. It's a Buster Sword build. Yeah, with this boat, you just zip around, basically. I def- I did not make it. Just so you know. I, I did not make it. So, someone else's boat, I'm not gonna say who. I'm not trying to get copyrighted by them. But, yeah. Another random boat. I'm just going through boats at this point. But, yeah. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use these. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you where to get Pro Dagger. Get a mountain. Just follow I go.
And then you find yourself a pro thief. Come up here and watch this. Watch the magic be done. Come up here, spam your bow down on him. Or any uh, long range weapon you have. I'd recommend this one right here. Uh, this great bow. Can I? Can I, can I not hold it down or something? Poor Dago. Um, that's um, the poor Dago right there. Um, very good weapon. It's one of the best um, sword of weapons um, in the game at the moment. Next up, I'm going to show you a Buster Sword. No, actually not Buster Sword. I'm going to show you... No, let's let's skip the mid game. Angle. Head to Savannah. If you have Savannah, or if you don't, that's sad. I'm sorry. I'm not doing a video on where to how to get stuff. Talk to this guy. Say I want to fight the Lord X, and bam, you'll be fighting Lord X, A.K.A. Sail Lord. Or say Sail Lord. I cannot speak. I pay with that. No one clip that, please. No one clipped that, but yeah, as you can see, he's a boss, he drops the ankle. My ankle, here we go. This is the ankle, um... Pretty good weapon, it's a mid-game weapon. Um, yeah. And, um... You also get the Tonto from getting that King's mm -hmm. Empire guy. And, um, yeah, so, next weapons that we're going to show off. I'm going to show, um, them to y'all. Now, so, I've been playing too much blocks, which I just tried to flash step. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I literally just tried to flash step by clicking OA. That's actually funny. So just follow where I go, you need gemstone pickaxe for this. Oh, I just dropped down here. good builds on this account so I can't really kill him I can't solo him for y'all but yeah kill him and you can't you have a chance of getting one of these it's either one I believe you either get prism lance good weapon I used this for a while actually until I realized it was mid yeah it's, it's pretty mid but um 
quiz and stuff. Um, it's actually very good. Very good weapon. Um, just very good damage. Um, I have a build um, coming out on it. And, um, yeah. So, I'll show y'all that. Um, it's on my other account, though, so I can't show it to y'all right now. I would, but I can't. I don't, it's on my other account. Now, um, now we're gonna get into, like, other stuff relating weapons. Like, what to put on your weapons, basically. Now, reforges, okay? So, reforges, you can go to the blacksmith guy right here. Right in here. Best spot to reforge. So, reforge my tools. You can click on here. If you have enough money to reforge this item, you can get it. This right here is small. It's swing speed. So, like, the stuff that's glowing like this is, like, the stuff that, um, it shows. Like, that's what, like, the item buffs. Like, like, that's what it, like, that's, like, the glowing stuff. You see, this is the normal stuff. And then this is the stuff that um the uh, the thing that you have gives. It's clear. And that one is a very good one if you're trying to have swing speed, um, because it's like this, more swing speed but less damage. And the light is pretty good too if you're trying to like more swing speed basically. Um, yeah. So this is the that explains reforges, lucky, more crit chance basically. The highlight stuff is what is the um is what like is a part of the reforge on it so yep and there's different ones for different items like for bows there's like different reforges and then for fists there's different as well like it's just different different items different reforges so yeah um now um, uh, the next thing I need to explain to y'all is, like, gems. So, basically, gems are, like, they're basically enchantments, kind of. Like, they, um, there's a frost gem, which basically, whenever you shoot something, and it, whenever you hit something, it inflicts frost uh, upon the enemy. And if you equip a certain, a set, um, a certain assortment of items, it turns into frostborn. That's cool. Frostborn, um, and, um, yeah, so, now, light gem, it basically makes things swing faster, and if you're trying to go for speed, use that, insignia, just don't use it, I'm gonna be for real, don't use it, it used to be, um, very good, it removed end lag, basically, way less end lag, and extra swing speed, it used to be better than, it basically used to be just a better light gem, but it, they actually heavily nerfed it, and they made it so it's, um, less damage now, it's 25% less damage, I believe, so, don't use it anymore, just use light gem, if you're trying to go for speed, now, blood gem, basically, whenever you hit something, you heal up, and on, um, on, um, mages, mage builds, I believe it's a bit of extra damage or a bit less cooldown and stuff like that on, um, staff weapons, on mage weapons. And, um, and then, um, here, yeah, what are the other gems? Charm. So basically, what Charm Gem does is it's extra damage. Whenever you get a crit, it's basically extra crit damage, basically. So for Card Kendo, basically, th this build that I um, that I have on for this weapon, it it's a crit build. So basically, um, like you you have a chance of critting like this. That was the crit right there. It did extra damage. The normal one just thirty seven. A crit does 56, right? So, basic stuff, basic stuff. Um. Um. So, yeah, basic stuff. Um. And then those, um. Some more gems, I believe, that I can explain. Like, magic gem basically just gives you mana back, less mana cost. Um. File gem inflicts file, kind of like, um. The frost gem, a certain assortment of items, makes it better. Explosive gem, it basically, um, 
It's good on this weapon. That's what my friend had. See, it's just like, it's like, uh, um, so, watch this. One, two, three. So every three hits, it does an explosion. Um. So yeah, that's, um, that's cool. Um. I believe that, that covers it for, um, gems, I believe. Also, if you're wondering what end lag is, it's basically watch, like, one, two, three, and that, that's a four and one combo, and then I can't swing after that, like, for like, like, two seconds, I can't swing, like, watch, and then bam, I can swing again, fast, it's like end lag on the weapon, basically, so, that basically just makes it so I can't swing as fast, and I believe that covers it, and now I'm just gonna explain potions, potions, potions are potions, put, um, items that you can get, um, like berries, um, um, you can put those into potions, bam, makes a potion, this one right here, five rage berries gives increased melee damage for 28 seconds, um, this is self-explanatory, it doesn't do anything, it used to light, light you on fire, but no longer, um, why am I pulling that out? I have no clue. But, um, yeah. So, I believe that covers everything I need to talk about. And, yeah. So, hope y'all have a be beautiful and amazing day. Or night. <laughs> whatever you're not doing right now. Um, evening, whatever. So, hope y'all have fun with whatever you're doing. And, yep. So, hope this helped. And, um, sorry for being, you know this video being so long hope it helped and yep and i will see you guys next time also i'll be uploading more pilgrim videos soon so see you guys bye